we have already seen uh, electric field lines emerging from point charges. In the previous slides, you saw electric field lines of point charges. Now let us look at a special case, parallel plate. This is the case of a capacitor, a device which we will learn as we go along in this topic. The system is shown in this figure. It consists of two plates. One of them is positively charged, the other one is negatively charged. As you can see, the field lines go from the positively charged plate to the negatively charged plate. And the field lines are uniform and parallel. So the electric field strength uh, in between the plates is uniform, it's a constant. But if you go towards the end of the plates, the field lines actually buckle up and this is because of the fringing fields uh, that are present near the edges of the plates. So now we will discuss electrical potential energy. If you recall from your previous lectures, so the potential energy is kind of like a stored up energy. When an object has potential energy, it has the capacity to do some work. Previously we looked at gravitational potential energy. Now we will look at electric potential energy. So consider the same system as just discussed, the parallel plates, plates uh, one positively charged, the other one negatively charged. And now we bring a small positive charge close to the positive plate of this system. And because the positive charges on the plate repel this charge, uh, we have to do some work to bring this charge close to the plate at position A. And let us assume also for our discussion that the charge A that we are moving towards the plate is very small so that it doesn't actually perturb the field of the plates. Now, when we move this charge close to the positive plate, we do work on this charge so we transfer some energy to the charge and this energy is stored as electrical potential energy and so now if we release the charge the positive plate will push it towards the right and the negative plate will also pull it towards the right so the charge will start moving towards the right so it has potential energy now it's moving so its velocity is increasing and so its kinetic energy is increasing so this is basically a case of energy conserv conservation also so initially when the charge was close to the positive plate it has the highest potential energy in this case we label it as u uh, u at position a and then as the charge is moving to the right its uh, velocity is increasing so this that potential energy is now getting converted into kinetic energy so the potential energy of the of the charge is decreasing but its kinetic energy is increasing but the total energy is remaining constant so that is where conservation of energy comes into play so you can think of an analogy uh, with the gravitational field also. Remember, like when we raised an object to a larger height, we did work on that object and the object gained some potential energy. And when we let it go, it fell down. Its velocity increased as it fell and its potential energy decreased because its height from the, from the ground, from the earth, decreased. So this is the same scenario, but the force that is uh, causing this effect is an electric force, not a gravitational force. But the effect in essence is the same. There was some initial potential energy. We, we gave some initial potential energy to the object and then it moved under the, the electric force and then it accelerated. Uh, so it co converted its potential energy to kinetic energy and the amount of potential energy decreased, but the total energy remained the same. And so the conservation of uh, energy also holds in this case. So now let us assume that the particle has moved from position A to position B. Uh, when it was at position A, the potential energy was UA, uh, but now it has moved closer to the negative plate. Its potential energy has decreased. Now it's denoted by UB. And so the potential difference is UA minus UB, the potential energy difference that is. And as we have seen, the, this potential energy is lost in the form of kinetic energy or this is also equivalent to the work done, to the negative of the work done if the object is taken from point B to point A. If we take the object from point B to point A, we will give, give it back its potential energy. Uh, the potential energy will be restored to UA. The thing to remember is that when the positively charged object is close to the positive plate, its potential energy was larger at, at position A. When it has moved closer to the negative pl plate, its potential energy decreased. So UB minus UA is actually a negative quantity. It's, le it's less than zero. And UB minus UA is, negative, is equal to the negative of the work done in moving the object from 
point B to A. Now let us describe electric potential. So we have looked at electric potential energy. Electric potential or simply potential is, is defined as the electrical electric potential energy per unit charge. So you have to divide the potential energy at a certain point, the charge that has that potential energy. So it's denoted by this uh, letter V, V of A, that means the electric potential at position A is equal to the potential energy at position A divided by the charge. Why is this uh, important? Because differences in potential energy are physically meaningful. So the potential difference is something that can be measured, for example, in an electrical circuit. And uh, how is it defined? So the difference in potential energy between two points B and A is defined as potential at point B minus potential at point A. And uh, if you write in terms of potential energy, then this becomes U at position B divided by Q, the charge, minus U at position A divided by the charge, Q. So this is also equal to negative of the work done from point B to A in moving the object from uh, point B to A divided by its charge. So this potential difference is very important because in electrical circuits this can be measured and this is like one of the one of the primary parameters when you are doing analysis of circuits uh, this is very important to know so electric potential difference it is also known as voltage and it has the symbol capital V which also means volts its unit is joule per coulomb so one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb so when we are measuring a potential difference we need two points. Suppose we are measuring the potential difference, say at point A, then we need a reference point. And typically in circuits or many other uh, systems, we use the ground as a reference, ground or conductor, for example, the positive plate uh, in a parallel plate capacitor. Uh, so we need another reference point when we are talking about the potential difference at point A. So we have looked at the case of positive charge and what are the pot what are, are its potential energy in an electric field, what is the potential difference, all these things. What about a negative charge? So all the rules apply except that you have to reverse them. So in this case, a negatively charged uh, object is shown in this case uh, in the electric field of two charged plates. And uh, in this case, the negatively charged particle has the highest potential when it's closer to the negative plate. When it moves to the po position A closer to the positive charge, its potential energy actually decreases. The situation is reversed compared to the positively charged particle case. Equipotential lines or surfaces. So an equipotential line or surface is where all points have the same potential. Uh, this means that the potential difference between any two points uh, are zero. So if you are moving a charge along an equipotential line or over an equipotential surface, then there is no work done because there is no potential difference. Uh, the potential energy is the same. And equipotential lines are perpendicular to electric field lines. Uh, if you are moving perpendicular to the electric field lines, then you are not actually doing any work. Let us give some pictorial examples. So the parallel plate uh, case that we di just discussed is shown here and the field lines go from the positive charge to the negative charge and the equipotential lines are perpendicular to these field lines you can see perpendicular lines are, are the equipotential lines so if you move a charge along along one of these lines there is no work done but if you are moving moving from one of these lines to another line uh, line then you change the potential and there will be work done so the case of two point charges are shown uh, so we have drawn their field lines before. Now let us look at their uh, equipotential uh, uh, lines which are shown by the green dotted lines and note that these are perpendicular to the red lines which are the electric field lines. So just a quick recap of this section. So we have looked, looked into electric potential energy which is analogous to the gravitational potential energy but in this case it is perpetrated by the electric force. Electric potential, which is just potential energy divided by the charge, or potential energy per unit charge, and potential difference, which is, which is basically the elect electric potential difference between two points. This is also called the voltage difference or voltage. And this is equal to the negative of the work done uh, to bring the charge between these two points uh, divided by the uh, 
จาก GQ